Hello and welcome to my channel. Let's talk about the trilogy The Black Coat Rebellion by Amy Carter. The first book is called Pawn, the second book is called Captive, and the third and last book is called Queen. In this series we follow Kitty Doe who lives in a hierarchical society. In this society people are ranked from one to seven with seven being the highest in order of importance shall we say. Unfortunately Kitty doesn't have a lot going for her. She's not exceptionally smart or pretty or popular. She's even grown up in an orphanage in the slums. In this orphanage, she's developed a few close friends, namely Benji and Nina. On her 17th birthday, she is forced to take a test to determine what the number tattooed to her neck is going to be. Benji has already taken his test and has scored exceptionally high. He expects to be a 5 or a 6. However, her prospects aren't looking so good. So she's convinced by Nina to go work at a sort of pleasure house. It's there she meets Daxon, who is the ruler of the country. In what has got to be a Jason Bourne-like sequence of events, she is kidnapped, her friend is killed, and she is whisked away into this mountainous retreat. Through a series of elaborate cosmetic surgeries, she has been transformed to look exactly like the Prime Minister's niece Lila. And that's where the story starts to get really interesting, because Kitty Doe is forced to become Lila. I don't want to go into a whole series review because I really don't want to spoil any of this series for you, but I do want to say a few things. This first book does a really great job of creating this interesting, complex world and makes Kitty a character you root for. I did have a few problems with the second book in that it met like all of the second book in a trilogy criteria, but the third book, which I read like a year and a half after I read the first two books, was amazing. What Amy Carter did in this finale to tie up the series was brilliant. It's got really great political intrigue like you get from series like The Hunger Games, but with a really amazing character that goes through such a natural development that by the end of the series I was so compelled by her plight that I was on the edge of my seat. I really recommend you guys check these out. They're not that popular so you might not find them at your local bookstore but they have them on Amazon and maybe you should check them out. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I make videos every Thursday. Thanks! Like a, like a, like a Moving like the speed of sound